Hi, welcome to the Sassy Spoon Kitchen. I have a fantastic, super, super easy pasta dish for you tonight. So just follow along here, it's really quick. The exact recipe will be below, as always. All right, so I have about a cup and a half or so of uh, tiny tomatoes. These are mostly um, a mix of, it's called mini Zanos and then uh, this yellow tomato. I'm gonna put those in the dish. Then I have a whole head of garlic. Put that in there. I preheated the oven to 350. Then I have a quarter cup of olive oil. I like the Sicilian olive oil. I've been using it for quite a while. It's just one of many different ones I use, but I like that one a lot. Okay, stir that up a little bit. Then we're gonna put a generous pinch of oregano. That was actually two pinches, wasn't it? And a pinch of peppercini, crushed red pepper. And I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. So I'm going to use um, Himalayan pink salt tonight. Just a little bit. I'd say that's like a half a teaspoonful. And a few rounds of black pepper. So that's all there is to this part of it. Now, in the middle, I'm going to place some queso fresco. The original recipe called for feta. So you can use feta instead. This comes from my little market down the street and I really like it. And it's wrapped in a banana leaf, which is kind of cool. But feta will work just fine. So we're gonna nestle that in there among the tomatoes and garlic. Then we're gonna bake that for half an hour. When it comes out, we're just gonna to toss in some hot pasta. And I'll get that pasta water going in about 10 minutes because this has to bake for half an hour. See you then. What about the pasta? I'm using half a package of penne rigate. Now you can use any shape you really want, but this is a good one for this dish. And a half package is eight ounces. This is a 16 ounce package. So we have that casserole I'm cooking in is equivalent to a nine by nine casserole dish or whatever kind of thing you want to bake in. It's so just so you know uh, about equivalents. All right, so this ended up taking about 40 minutes to cook instead of 35 because I wanted um, the cheese to get really melted and it's still it's not quite melted, actually. Hmm, maybe I'll put it in a little longer. I don't know. No, I think it'll be all right. So I'm going to stir it up. And then I'm going to put the hot pasta on top of it. Again, you can use any kind, any shape of pasta you really want to use. Um, this one looks like it's going to be perfect. And I'm going to withhold a little bit of pasta water. I usually do that when I'm making this kind of sauce. I'm just gonna let this hot pasta sit on the cheese for a minute because it seems a little bit stiff yet, even though we're only supposed to have to cook for half an hour. I 
can definitely tell I'm going to need to add a little bit of pasta water. And then the only thing I have to do is just tear up a little bit of basil on top and serve it. This is so easy and so delicious. Remember, this is half a pound of pasta or eight ounces. It's not a whole lot. All right, I'm gonna take just a little bit of hot pasta water. And I'm gonna stir it up. Ooh, it smells so good with all that garlic. I used a whole head of garlic in this. cheesy, saucy. You can add a little more water if you want to, but this is fine here. So, I'm going to just take some basil and tear it off. And we'll plant right here in my kitchen. One more little stir to mix that basil in with it. If you're going to chiffonade the basil, you can just set it on top, but I thought I wanted to warm it up a bit. So that's it. That's all you have to do. Delicious, easy, and that's like about four servings, I think. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe. Bye. Welcome back. I thought I was finished, but I'm not. So this morning when I got up, I thought, you know, that was really good, but I might want to add some other flavor to it. Um, and my husband, he liked the pasta part more than he liked the cheese. So maybe it was too much cheese for him. But anyway, I had some, I'm cleaning out my refrigerator and I had some uh, Kalamata olives. And I thought they'd be really good in it. And also, part of a jar of um, pizza sauce. So this is going to make it red, obviously. But I think it'll add more tomato flavor. And I think it'll be a fun addition. So you can use the original recipe. And you, you can also play with it a little. If you want to add more spices or... You know, even add meat like Italian sausage, you could. But, I mean, the whole point of this is how easy it is. And you don't want to add a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, this is like the perfect camping dinner or RV dinner or dinner for a, a uh, bachelor who doesn't want to have, um, you know, TV dinner or microwave dinner for dinner. This is faster, easier, and better. I was really not turning it that red to add the sauce. And even though it's cold, I'm gonna take a little taste because I think it will have changed the profile considerably using the Kalamatas because they're salty and they have a little more texture. The tomatoes kind of melt in this, which is fine, but um, I think I would like that additional flavor. I'm gonna grab a fork. Make sure I get some of the Kalamata. Hmm. Very good. It tastes maybe a little more like traditional pasta dish, but very good that way. So, in the process, I cleaned out my refrigerator a little bit. Of course, now I have all this to put in there. 
but I have some friends that I send taste samplings over to, so I will bring them a con container of it, and then, you know, we'll have a container for our lunch a day or two, and that ought to be plenty. So that's it. I just thought I'd add that on to the video. And thanks for watching. Make sure and click like.